Good morning everyone and welcome to today's video. Today's a performance day. We are on Thursday, 26th of May and I'm gonna bring you along with me. Let's get moving. We are done for the morning. It was just a class and some corrections for tonight's show. Some things that we had to repeat. And now the plan is to go to the gym. I go to the gym before the performance today because I like to just set my body to make sure that my core and my back is strong for tonight's show. So it will not be too much of a push, but just to, just to feel strong for tonight's show. my lunch and I had the break between the morning rehearsals and the gym and now I'm getting ready for tonight's show but I just wanted to speak to you guys a little bit while I'm having a coffee about a poll that I did some days ago and I was asking to you guys on Instagram um, if look matters or not if the way you look the way you the clothes you wear the way you smell the way you put yourself out there, if it matters or not. And most of you say that yes, that the looks matter. And after that, I ask a second question, which was, if looks matter, as you were saying, then if that was for yourself or it was to impress others. And an 89% of the people say that it's just for yourself. And I just wanted to talk a little bit about it and just give my opinion because I asked you guys but I didn't say what I actually think about and I think I can say something interesting about this. So I think I agree, like most of you guys, at the beginning for the first part, as as yes, I think that looks matter, I think that the way you put yourself out there it matters. But when I think about the second question, if it's for yourself or it's for the others, I would say that there is a 50-50 of percentage. Of course, you have to do for yourself because I think it's important if you, I would say like if you want to be successful, if you want to have success in life, you have to start for yourself. If you want things to change in your life, you are the first thing that has to change. So if you don't treat yourself good, if you don't put out, if you don't put yourself out there, in a good manner, then how will you expect others to do the same or how would you expect others to look at you in a certain way? 
So having said that, at the same time, I feel like it's not just for ourselves, but also for the others, because whether we like it or not, we live in a world where first impressions matter and any impression matters. And also we are as good as we were the yesterday or as good as we are today. That means that it doesn't really matter what you did yesterday. It doesn't really matter how good you look today if tomorrow you will look bad. Okay, maybe it doesn't sound super nice right now how I'm saying it, but I think it's a reality. The, the way we portray ourselves, the way we look, is a thing that matters for your job, it matters for your relations. I'm sure many of you have tried to audition for a ballet company, for example, let's say, and the, your pictures and your video is the first thing in contact with the directors or the teachers of the companies that you are auditioning for. And if they don't look good, if, if you don't look good in those pictures, you will, not, you will never get even invited to those auditions. So that makes you think how important it is to look good for yourself but also to look good in front of others. Maybe it's not the nicest thing to say, but I think it's a truth that we have to live with. Anyway, I like to ask you guys about these things. I like to do all these polls on Instagram. So if you are not following me yet, maybe click on the link down in the description. There will be my Instagram uh, in the list. So you can participate in all these polls and be part of this conversation that we have every once in a while. Now I'm gonna finish my coffee and then I'm gonna head to the theater and I can show you a little bit more about the performance and about the stage of our theater. See you there. <laughs> Let's get moving. So before I just show you the stage and these are these are the costumes. Let's say you can see better. This is like a coat, like a black coat. It has some buttons, you can see there. And the rest is like a normal suit, white shirt, black suit. It's like a modern piece. And it has some special black shoes. You can see better. They are quite comfortable, they are nice. Okay, here is better. And about the piece, it's called the Solo for Three. It's called like this because they use music from three different composers. One Czech composer, one French and one Russian. And all the songs are from these three composers. And there is no real story in this ballet. But the songs that are in the, in the piece, they tell different stories and it's about humans, it's about love, it's about death, it's about lust, it's about happiness. It has all these emotions which makes the performance really, really strong and I think it's super nice for the audience and for the dancers. For me, this is a role that is incredible that I had a chance to dance. It's one of these roles that you will always remember all your life. So I'm just really happy that I get to, to do this performance. So yeah, I saw you I show you already the stage. This is the audience, how it looks like there. And the stage is a really also minimal stage design which it has a big table that I dance on top of it and under it. And in the second act the table becomes small. But it, but it's the same. Just the table is a guitar, it's a chair very minimal because already the songs and the emotions of the performance are really, really strong. So I think the piece doesn't need any more than that. Okay, now I'm gonna warm up and prepare. Let's get moving. Ok, 
Okay, first act is done. Now we go to the second act. I think the show is going well. Let's go for it. So that was a day in my life for a performance day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoy to see a little bit of behind the scenes of what I do every day. Let me know down in the comments if you want to see more of this and if you stay till the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Let's get moving.